Yep. He's throwing away a grill. Garbage Family Show. <laughs> Today's a big day, Garbage Family Show friends. Do you ever play video games like Roblox's Phoenix Remaster and dream about being a garbage truck driver when you get older? Well, today you get to meet a driver who dreamed about doing it his whole life and now he is. This is James. James drives a jumbo Amrap garbage truck for the city of Phoenix and he's going to show us his truck. I'm going to have lunch with him, then we're going to follow his truck around for a little bit. Come along with me, it's going to be epic. The hardest part about this job, Roman, is keeping the truck clean. Yeah. That's the hardest part. That's oh, that's the that's the ladder. So if I ever need to get up in the hopper, like if I drop a can in there or something, I, that ladder comes down oh. and I can climb up there. Oh. Okay. So it runs on air, so air controls the hydraulics. It, it pushes the oil in, the air pushes the oil in. Then the oil, when it comes back out, it pushes the air out. So when you hear the AMRAP and it's operating, you'll hear a bunch of psh, psh. Oh, I hear that. So that's coming from this air box. Whoa. Which in here, let's see if I can open it up. I've never seen this before. I thought this was like safety equipment, like to help clean up stuff. So this Whoa. in here is all the air valves that control, you know, the air going into the hydraulic system. So every time you hear that sound, that's air coming out of these valves for the release. And then if the truck needs to be worked on, uh, the mechanic can come in here. All these here tell you where the arm is in the truck. So you'll see it says, um, in there it says, cart up, cart down, clamp open, clamp close. So every time one of those flashes, it's saying that the truck's reading it. If one of them doesn't flash, that means it has to be worked on. Uh. It'll typically keep, there's hooks on in the back here that'll keep the arm in, but if those fail, you know, on the off chance, this is just an extra layer of security to oh, keep the keep arm in. Keep it from moving. Yeah. Oh, so, the, so you go around a corner and it doesn't fly back. And... Yeah, because if, if there was an issue with the cylinder that pushes it in and out, this would be to keep it in there to make sure that it wouldn't come out. Wow. This is called the N3 arm. And basically what it is, is it's a hydraulic driven arm. So there's, there's a hydraulic cylinders that go up and down like this behind the rail and they pull up the chain. So this arm here can pick up more weight in the can. So let's say like someone puts in like a can full of dirt or something. This truck can lift it. The other one has a little bit of trouble lifting it. From this hoist here. And you click this button. Whoa! No, it's not dumping, and there's no trash in it either. But what this allows when it's fully raised is we can put those safety props down, and the mechanic can work on it out in the field if need be. Is there the safety props? Yeah, yeah. So if the truck is fully up in the air. It would. We would have to put those down. And they work on these these hydraulic lines, right? Right. Yeah. I'm gonna bring it down. So. Whoa. Yeah, it's very heavy. <laughs> Got a little bit of friends in here. That's another part of being a garbage Wait, man. You gotta. Maggots? Yeah, you gotta uh, get used to the maggots. I cannot stand those things. <laughs> Oh yeah, so I got little friends crawling all over there. They're never in your cab, are they? No. Okay. No. Ugh. If I dump at least three cans full of water, there's like a hundred gallons of water in here and it comes out like Niagara Falls, so. Oh, yeah, because yeah. like flies and all the garbage. Oh yeah. Clean this truck out once and I have a little bit on, on the bottom of my pants. You, you stay pretty clean. These airbags here, when I flip the switch in the truck, it drains the air and they drop down to the ground. Yeah. The elliptical axle? Liftable axle, yep. What are these things on the, on the screws? Oh, these? These yeah. are called lug indicators. So these are obviously supposed to be real tight, keep the wheel on the truck. Oh. So if one of them gets loose, it'll get cockeyed. And I can kind of see, well, this one's not pointing straight, so it's pointing up now. Well, I got to take it to the mechanic and have them tighten all the, the lug nuts up. Oh. Time for me to climb into the cab. 
sitting inside James's garbage truck it was an awesome experience. You realize how big the truck is and you get a sense of how fun it is to drive. Here's what it looks like from where I'm sitting. A joystick, controls, the radio, the hard hat, a bunch of control speaker, the earphones, the cameras, and yeah. It's lunchtime! This is a great time to talk about garbage trucks and to learn more about James. We'll follow him and his truck right after lunch. I think my record is. 600 cans in three hours, which is, which is about 200 cans an hour. The last time I saw you at the Truck of Palooza, um, you were in like um, this gray scorpion. Oh yeah, that was the rodeo. So the rodeo, yeah. I went down there to compete in that, and that wasn't my truck because they were using whatever the South Region of Phoenix had. They didn't want me to take my truck all the way down there. You know, they already had trucks there, so that truck's. A I appreciate that. Thank you. A really neat thing about James is he's both educated and smart. He went to college and graduated in just three years. Most people take four years or more. Right after he graduated, he went to the city of Phoenix to start living his dream of driving the beautiful garbage trucks. He looks forward to going into work every day and he has a blast doing it. Man, I'm jealous. He also loves saying hi to all the kids along his route, just like the garbage truck drivers did when he was a boy. Well, lunchtime is over. Now let's follow James while he's on his route. Always test the grabber before you start your route. Keep your horn before you back up. And we're off to watch the truck in action. Up it goes. I'm gonna try and model what James is doing on my Roblox Phoenix Remastered game. You remember it, right? Perfect. Wow, you don't see that every day. I'm gonna try and replicate that on my Rolex game using a chair. Oh, oh man, I can't do it. The chair is too heavy. James sure is a pro. I could watch him do this all day. James is really slamming and jamming now. Hey, you know what I just noticed? Look at the number of James's truck and look at the number on my Roblox game. They're off by just one number. Wow, that's pretty cool. Hey everybody, it's shout out time. Big shout out to Jack. He's five years old, but he's turning six in May. He loves the Slammin' Eagle Karate Can video we did a while back. Thanks for watching, Jack. And a shout out to my Roblox playing friend. 
Harry Terry. You can play with me and my sister Gracie on Roblox too. My Roblox name is Roman's Empire 9 and my sister's Roblox name is Peppermint Ocean 119. See you on Roblox. And check out our other channel, Gamer Family Show. You're slamming and jamming. We're running hard to keep up now. What do you say we watch a few more cans get dumped and then call it a day? Pretty full. Good job, James. So many cans on the street. Wow. Did you see him move that recycling can out of the way? Genius! Watch this. James says bye with his grabber. I've never seen this before. Thank you, James. Time to call it a day. Thanks for watching, Garbage Family Show friends. Big shout out to James for spending the day with us. Thank you so much, James.